hello beautiful people hope you guys are doing well so i wanted to come and give you guys a quick update on my debt free journey um because it's a little, a little change a little change okay because today i am i shouldn't say i am i did attend a class um doing i'm taking this course where you know i am really learning all about becoming debt free and financial freedom which is actually the financial peace university by dave ramsey uh, i am taking that course you guys i'm super excited today was the first um class and i am like so motivated so excited and i know that discipline is really going to be my the biggest thing that i need to work on and focus on and I, yesterday I posted a video, which I will include at the end of this video, showing you my debt, what I owe as far as my credit card and how I plan on paying that off. Well, gotta tweak that a little bit. Why? It's because according to Dave Ramsey, um, method and plan is first thing you want to do, baby step number one is pretty much budgeting and creating a $1,000 say emergency fund. So $100,000, which I had $100,000, $1,000 for your starter emergency fund starter. So you can't increase that. You don't want to always just keep it at $1,000. You can't increase that. Um, and honestly, at one point in time, I did create a, a open up an account that I didn't have a debit card to. I usually, I just had money deposited into the account and I was using it saved. I did accumulate a nice amount, but over the years, stuff happened. And technically, emergencies happen and that, <laughs> that emergency fund is like depleted, okay? Okay, so I got to kind of like start over. Do I have, you know, some money in savings? Yes. Do I have a thousand dollars? I hate to admit to this, but no, I do not. Um, in my savings, I'm not talking about my check-ins or anything like that. I don't want to count that money. I'm speaking of my savings account money that I know that I'm not gonna have to touch unless it's an emergency. I'm not, I don't have it. Um, fortunately, I am being real with that, and as much as it pains me to admit that, because the reason why I you know some people are like, why does it pain you to admit that is because with what I make and the expense that I have monthly, there's no reason I shouldn't have over a thousand dollars saved up. You know what I mean? Um, which means that I really have been, you know, I don't know where my money been going to, to be honest. I'm just been honest. Like I really don't know. I know I haven't been out here balling in these streets with the whole, you know, shopping and stuff. I know it's, it's not been those type of things. Well, pretty sure I probably went shopping a couple times when I wasn't supposed to, you know, online shopping and stuff. <laughs> but we're not even talking about that right now. You know, spill milk, okay? Now I'm trying to clean that up, okay? We're cleaning it up. That's all we can do and move forward. So I'm on baby step number one. So this is a step that he says you need to complete before you start the whole snowball payoff method. So with that being said, I have about half of that right now. So I really only have to save another $500. So in the month of January, I already have some stuff. Of course, I have to pay the minimum of the on those credit cards. At least pay the minimum on those credit cards or whatever. And if I get extra money, I will put it towards that credit card. So I'm hoping I can still stick to that five hundred dollar budget that I plan to pay on the cards. But if I can't, in order to put into my savings account, then that that it is what it is. That's what I'm gonna have to do because I want to follow this plan to the T. Because at the end of the day, if I don't, this is a man. Dave Ramsey is a freaking millionaire, okay? Um, so I'm going to, yes, I'm going to listen to what he has to say and I'm going to follow it to a T. I can't continue to do it how I've been doing it in the past because clearly how I've been doing it in the past then got me here. And, you know what I'm saying? It ain't where I want to be. 
So with that being said, and knowing I don't want to be here, you can't continue to do the same things expecting a different outcome. So with that being said, right now I'm focusing on saving that $1,000 for the emergency fund where I know for a fact I'm not touching that money unless it's an emergency so that you don't go and put stuff on credit cards and stuff like that because if you watched my last video then you know if you're trying to pay off credit card debt you don't want to be adding stuff to it that's common sense okay with that being said i'm also gonna start budgeting doing a budget plan i have tried to complete a budget before and i don't know i start off and then like a week later i'm just like that budget is out the window but that's why i said at the beginning of this video i think i said at the beginning of this video i'm not sure Discipline is going to be my friend and that's something I'm not going to lie, I struggle with, you know, because if I was more disciplined or whatever, I wouldn't be in this predicament now. Um, I am getting better because yesterday my homegirl, no, I love Levi's, she sent me a link and Levi's was having a banging sale. I seen a few things that I wanted. Uh, uh, it was an incredible price, incredible price, but I was like, Jasmine, yeah, you'll wear those items, but do you need it? No. And that $93 you could you spend on that, that could be something you could put into savings. That could be something you pay on this credit card at. So I didn't do it. That's called discipline, you know? And so I am getting better. Um, I'm still struggling with in the food area. So that's going to be the biggest thing for me because it's, it's, it's easier. It's becoming easier for me not to shop only because I know that I really don't need to. I really truly don't need to. But girl need to eat. You know what I'm saying? I just have to go about it a different way where I'm not eating out so much. So now I need to grocery shop. Now I need to cook. So that's where I struggle at and that's where I need to work on. But anyway, to sum this all up, try not to make it too long. I am going to follow this Dave Ramsey plan to a T. This course that I'm taking is a nine weeks course and I'm going to keep you guys updated. And right now, as you can see, baby step one is to save $1,000 for an emergency fund. And that's pretty much what I'm working on. And then also creating a budget. And they go based upon a zero base budget. I think that's what it's called. Let me just double check you guys. Do, 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 do. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, is it called? Where is it at? Yeah, a zero based budget plan or whatever. That's pretty much where you take your income, you list all your expenses, minus the, you take your income and minus all your expenses, and you need to, it needs to total up to zero dollars remaining. And I know you're like, what, huh? Um, meaning you don't need, you shouldn't have no money left over. And then, you know, like, why wouldn't you want to have money left over? Because that money is going to go to some sort of category, even if that means you're, you know, after all your bills and stuff is taken care of miscellaneous and like food, I'm not food, miscellaneous and like fun stuff or whatever. Even if you put money in that category, once all of that is taken care of and you have uh, two, three, four hundred dollars, whatever left over. That means you're going to take that $400 and you're going to put it in the category of savings. So that money, all your money is accounted for. It's going somewhere. You know what I mean? Um, so at least that's my take on zero base um, budget. And that's what I'm going to do. I am going to, I'm waiting to receive my email so I can start my budget plan. And once I do that, you know, I'm going to share it with you guys. I'm super excited. Like I'm very motivated on this. I'm to a point where I'm actually thinking about taking a finance class. Like, I, I'm really getting into this more and more that I learn about it. I also learn there's two types of people. You got your um, nerd and you got your free spirit. I'm more of the nerd because this stuff do interest me and it motivates me, as you can see. Um, my significant other is more of a free spirit. He's just like, yellow. <laughs> um you got this you can handle this or whatever and it's just like so you you really you you really gonna pay a draws for the shirt 
Like, I'm not saying he paid $100 for sure, but I'm saying he would be more like, yeah, it's what I want. Yeah, having a problem paying $100 for the shirt. I'm looking like, $100? Oh my gosh, do you know I can do it with $100? I can pay on a credit card. Oh my God, I can put it in my savings account. Oh my God, I can put it in towards a bill. Like, you, you spent $100 on the shirt. That would be me. That would be me. Okay? But me being that way is going to get me to a point where I have this financial freedom where I can do whatever i can get to a point where i can walk in the store and say i want this and not necessarily have to let me make sure let me check the price tag because i don't have debt i have money saved up so now i have freedom to do and be who i want to be but i need to get to that point and i'm not allowing anybody to distract me from my goal so no i'm i'm sorry I have to stick to this. I am 31 years old, about to be 32 soon, a couple months or a few months or whatever, April. I have things I want to accomplish by the age of 40. And I have to be focused, focused, focused. And I have to keep my eyes on the prize and don't allow anything or anyone to come in to knock me off track. Stuff is going to happen. Stuff is going to come up, which is why you should have an emergency fund. And if you, of course, if I'm pretty sure if you have to use money for that emergency fund, you want to replace that money when you can. Okay. Makes sense. Um, but I'm trying not to make this too long. So I'm going to wrap this all up. If you have any questions, comment below. Let me know. And I get back with you. So until next time, I hope you guys are as excited as I am because I'm excited. You're excited. I'm excited. Okay. This is, <laughs> girl, it's happy. Okay. Okay, so until next time, peace, love, and blessings.